That's how you know they want that chatter base. Dude, I got him. There we go, boys. That is a beautiful bass right there. Look at that freaking <laughs> fish. Alan Bob hooked up. Get him. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I do not mind catching them. If you can catch some more of those, I'll be down. What's happening boys? Welcome to another video. We got a banger today. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Got Alan Bob with me. As always, Alan Bob's in like every episode. But be sure to pepper that like button if you guys wanna see some more challenges. What we're going to be doing today is a challenge similar to one I actually did about a week or a week and a half ago. I actually did a pink versus white fishing challenge. Alan Bob is actually in that one. You guys love that one. Everybody's commenting below. Do a white versus black or a black versus white fishing challenge. So this is what we're gonna do today. I think it's gonna be really cool because I'm kinda curious. I feel like this one's more even. Like the pink versus white was like I don't know like if you're going black versus white you got a dark color and a light color I want to do one with like green pumpkin and June bug as well so if you guys want to see that one let me know but today black versus white I do have some flukes in my truck that are black I bought some from a tackle shop about a few weeks ago but we're gonna go in there we're gonna pick up some baits I think we're gonna do three a piece so I think it's gonna be three white lures three black lures I don't know how we're gonna split it up I think we should split it up differently like maybe I use two of the black ones he uses one of the black ones and then because I think one of them is gonna over dominate over dominate I believe one of the colors is definitely going to kick the other one's butt 100% because it just depends on what those fish are going to commit to. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get inside of Walmart and buy the loot. So if you guys were listening to me outside, I did say I have a black pack of flukes. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to buy, obviously, is the white flukes right here, just basic. I got a black pack in my truck. And then, so we need two more lures. I think we're gonna do three total, three total of each. So let's see. All right, Alan, I'm letting you pick out the second one. Second so whatever, one. whatever you think. I guess for a trick worm, we're gonna go with a white, black trick worm. There we go. Lure. I got gotcha. you. So what do you want to pair that up on? You want to put it on like a drop shot or maybe a shaky head or something? Uh, you could run it weightless too. I mean, there's yeah. different things we could do with that. We could do it on a drop shot, maybe a shaky head. I think shaky head. Shaky head. All right, we'll buy some of those too. But that's two. You got the white zoom trick worms. All right, everybody, so we have the worms, regular finesse worms, and the flukes. Both soft plastics. I think we need to go for a hard bait. I was going to go with the jig because they do have a white jig and a black jig. I was like thinking about it. I was like, man, we should probably do it. But kind of in the mood to throw a chatter bait. So I think that's what we might go with. Down here, I was looking, and they obviously have you know, the regular white chatter bait. This is 3 8 ounce right there by Z Man. And then they also have a black chatter bait. It's black and blue. It's just got a tad bit of blue in there. Um, so we're going to be trying these out. I love a chatter bait. If you guys know me well, that is like one of my favorite baits of all time. And I told Alan Bob, I was like, dude, you can go for a jig and jig bite's really fun. And I whacked him on a jig last week. But I was like, I'm really in the mood for a chatter bait bite. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So flukes, worms, and chatter baits, baby. made it to our first spot but the first thing we have to do is pick out the lures that we're going to be using i'm actually only going to bring two rods to this first hole so that means i'm only going to be tying two of them on obviously i think i'm going to go with the fluke and the chatterbait and i think alan agreed on that as yeah, well so we're going to take that. the worms out at a different pond that we go to so this is the thing would you like to throw what would you okay. like to throw man i'm letting alan bob pick again he picked on the last couple ones we can choose either one oh, all right one so one. i get one white one you yeah, get one black one yeah. i'll do the white fluke and then Black chatterbait. All right, that's fair. White chat. I'm gonna do the white chatterbait. Black fluke. White fluke. Black chatterbait. Yeah. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. I got a different knife. Better calm down, though. You better calm down, man. Tuck your sass. Better watch out, Alan Bob. That's what you doing with that thing? Better watch out. Since you got him. What do you need a hook? Dude, it feels so weird with it being cold outside right now. <laughs> it actually, does feel really good. You already got a hook on. But that is a mega hook. I don't know about that one. All right, baby. I think I'm gonna start off with the black fluke. Pretty sure Alan Bob's gonna start off with his as well. See what we can start with. See if we can get us a big old bass. Today's conditions look really good. I'm super excited to get this started. Oh my God. Bob, I'm on. <laughs> you better watch out, man. You better watch out, Alan. Oh my God. Just like that. First fish of the day on the old black fluky. Second cast or third cast, something like that. Little baby dude. We need some giants today, boys. Why 
Why in the world's up with these small? That is the smallest bass. It's probably the smallest one I've caught out of here. Little tiny guy. I don't want these guys to bite today. Oh, we are gonna need a new one after that. Another fluky. Little guy's destroying it. The black seems to be doing the trick. I've already caught two on it. I've never used a black fluke. I've barely even ever seen any black flukes before, but seems like it's getting the job done so far. Should be a good one right there. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Look how he ate that thing, dude. That's how you know they want it. Look at that baby right there. That's how you know they want that chatterbait. On the old white one. Straight choke that thing. That's a pretty big bait for that little fish right there. He felt a lot bigger than he was, but his first fish on the chatterbait, fluke's already knocked off. I wanna catch some more chatterbait fish now. We're gonna be hunting for some big ones. Probably gonna cast that chatterbait a lot today. Oh my God. That's a lot bigger. White chatterbait again. Oh, look at the color of that fish. Super light, super, super light. On the old chatter donkey again. Loaded up on that sucker, I barely even felt him. Alrighty, so the first pond's done. I caught two on a chatterbait, two on a fluke. So two on the black fluke, two on a white chatterbait. Alan Bob has this big monkey on his, it's not even a monkey, it's a gorilla. We, we decided that's a gorilla on his back because the last episode, he just had the worst luck too, just could not get a bite. And I don't know what's going on, but I told Alan it's about to happen right here. We're looking for one big juicy girl. Old shatter donkey. Dude, I got him. Yeah. He's not that big. What in the world? He's a good one. There we go, boys. That is a beautiful bass right there. Look at that thick freaking fish right in the top of his mouth on that chatterbait. We just saw some big ones eating some bait, and I thought I, I thought I had them. I thought I had a, about a five, six pounder, but I'll take this fish any day. It's a solid two and three quarters right there. What a fat bass. Pretty right there. Let's get him back in the water. Alan Bob's got to catch him a 10 here. All right, boys. Beautiful fish. Dude. You guys are wondering how I'm working this chatterbait right now. There's a bunch of big rocks out here, big boulders. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just dragging this chatterbait. I'm not standardly reeling it how I normally would like this. I'm more of, you know, letting it hit the bottom, kind of ripping it up. And that's right when that fish grabbed it, just killed it. I didn't even feel him at all. He actually just loaded right up on that bait. Literally, I just saw my line and I happened to see it moving to the right. Never even felt him or anything. That's where I got him. But simply just letting that bait hit the bottom and just stroking it up slightly and dragging it along the bottom and they're just whacking it like that. We are looking for some big fish in this hole. This is a hole where I've caught an eight and a seven and Isaac's caught some freaking donkeys out of here. I'm just kind of throwing this chatterbait around looking for that one big bite. I thought that was it right there, but I know there's some giants in here chasing some bait right now. We just gonna have to run into them. What's up, buddy? What's up? Noah, man. Me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You catching any? Yeah, I caught a bunch of little ones on shaky head. Oh, there's some good ones in here, dude. Almost two five pounders. Yeah, that's what he's saying. That's crazy. Oh, right in here? Yep, right in that pipe. All right, boys, just made it to the next spot. Alan Bob's got actually both the white ones on. White fluke and the white shaky head. We took the chatter baits off, and I got the two, two black baits right there. Black worm, black fluke. Dude, we're about to catch some, aren't we? Oh, I you ready? So, Alan Bob's still got the gorilla on his back. <laughs> All right, Alan. I'm gonna actually film you. First cast. Let's see if we can make it happen. The gorilla has to get off your back, Bob. Whoa. You gonna put it on me? I'm gonna be so surprised if there's not one right there. Nothing? Nope. Dude, that gorilla is chomping on you, man. All right, I'm putting this down. He's got you, bro. Get him, get him, Alan. He's got it. He's got He's it. Also, uh, yes, oh. He's got it. Oh. 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 Get the camera, bro. That one was a good one. Alan Bob's hooked up. Oh, he's got it. The gorilla is right there. <laughs> get him, get him. 
Get him. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Alan Bomb. Yeah. I mean, that was a good fish, man. Bro, he already had it like. I told you he had it. <laughs> Dude, that's a quality one right there. Good job, bro. I thought he was a lot bigger for a minute there. That was a good one, though. Oh, yeah. Hold that thing out. Gosh, that's a pretty fish, bro. Good job, man. Finally got, Finally got the monkey, dude. Oh, yeah. That's probably going to be the biggest one today. I don't know. We might end up catching giants, bro. On the worm first cast. Like, drop. I felt him hammered, bro. Dude, that's sweet. Let me show, show me him one more time, Bob. Oh, yeah, dude. That's an awesome fish. All right. No. <laughs> dude, freaking sweet. Dude, white worm first cast. That's pretty crazy. So he hammered it right when it hit the water, didn't he? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's a lot smaller than I thought. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to catch some more. Look at the color. Dude, it's only in this pond. You see like the green on him? Can the camera see it? Yeah. You see what I'm talking about there, right? It's like a weird green glow to these fish. Little baby dude. That's the first one on the black room worm though. First two fish on the worm. Dude. I thought there was one running with you for a second. I was like watching you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You what? No. Or they could be in those. Tr <laughs> dude, that's a good one too. <laughs> oh God. Gosh, dude, that is awesome. Look at that one right there. That is a good fish too. Gosh, on the black worm, I, he ate it right at the bank. Literally right at the bank. You were reeling it in. Yeah, I was like reeling it in. I saw, like, I didn't even feel him. It was just kind of like the water moved. But look at that, baby. That, we're catching some solid ones now. I mean, they're not monsters by any means, but they're definitely quality fish, and I do not mind catching them. We can catch some more of those. I'll be down. All right, buddy. <laughs> do not tell your friends. About to say, bro, I don't know what I just hooked, but if that was a fish, <laughs> come here, Bob. Cast off that pipe right there. See the pipe? Right hand side. <gasps> I just broke off, bro. I about lost my reel. Yeah, I ain't no good. I ain't got no more hooks. Got him! Got him! There you go. The tiny dude's a little yeah. fatty though, ain't it? Little fatty. Fatty. They're in this. Weightless worm, dude. There we go, boys. That is a chunk. That's really a chunk right there. On, I actually put the black worm on my hook because I stuck my fluke off and I was like, man, I know I can catch one on it. And that bad boy ate it. All right. What's up, people? Thank you guys so much for watching this one, but do not leave yet because I am gonna be giving away everything in this video. But one thing I would like to say is I'm sorry I did not get to post this on Tuesday. This is actually going up Wednesday instead. The schedule's been super hectic. I'm actually about to go out and film right now before it gets too late because it has been getting darker earlier now. So it's harder for me to you know film these episodes. But thank you guys so much for the support. First of all, I am giving away all the tackle in this video. So all you have to do is leave a comment below letting me know that you turn post notifications on obviously turn post notifications on subscribe to the channel hit the like button and also leave some form of social media that I can contact you on like Instagram Facebook snapchat Twitter whatever it is that I can contact you if you want it overall with the whole challenge I pretty much tallied up the fish and I counted how many we caught on the white and how many we caught on the black and it literally tied five to five literally we caught ten fish total five on the black five on the white which is pretty crazy um chatterbait ended up killing it caught a few on the worm at the end caught a few on the fluke in the beginning it was overall it was a tough day we usually would catch some more but i just realized it was a lot harder when we went out there but be sure to leave a comment below also on what challenges you would like to see next thank you guys so much for the support about to go out there and film right now and i'll catch you guys in the next video 
I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with hands, uh I get it, get it up uh, anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh, every day, uh